Bonjour on YouTube, it's Nathan here from Summit or Nothing. Today I'm joined in my shed by my lovely girlfriend Hayley and we are going to introduce you to a project that we've started which is to build our very own open top canoe. So we are building a Stanley Smallcraft Peace Marsh 14 open top canoe. This is being built out of uh, three sheets of 6mm ply. We've used some marine ply, uh, we've got some standard ply that was more of a uh, cock up than an actual planned piece but we're going to use the um, exterior grey ply for the base which doesn't have too many bends in it and we're going to use the marine ply for the side panels that have all of the sort of shape in them if you like. Uh, I don't know if any of you are aware but what we're doing is a what we call a or what you'd call a stitch and glue canoe so you stitch all the panels together with cable ties and then you sort of glue it with an epoxy resin and sort of fiberglass tape. So um, yeah, have you, uh, you ever built a canoe before? No, no, never in my life. Good. This is the first. <laughs> right, ideal. So I haven't built one either so this can only only go well. I don't really know what to expect from this but hopefully you guys get to join us through the whole process of um, sort of building the canoe and testing it and then hopefully eventually in some way or another we're going to go out and have a camping trip from the canoe. So why don't you come and join us whilst we build a canoe? We're getting out the plans which we have already cut yep. and stuck. So we ordered this kit, this kit came from eBay, right, for like £35. Yeah. It basically comes, there's loads of sheets of uncut paper, doesn't it, with the yeah. outline already drawn on it. So you actually yeah. have to, we've had to cut, cut the, it out. yeah, so we've gone through and we've done that. Yeah, we so have, yeah. what have we cut out so far? We've got the decks, we've got the bottom panel, yeah. and we've got... The, is it the bulkheads? Yeah. And we've got the bulkheads. Two bulkheads. Right. There we go. And those are the panels that you can see already pre-cut. Right, okay, so these, as you can see, they're quite large plans, so we're building a 14 foot canoe. So what we have to do is we have to cut out and stitch multiple parts together. So what we're going to do now is we are going to mark out and cut the planks for plank one of the first sheet of marine plank. So what I'm doing now, because the planks, the, the planks are so long because we're doing the 14 foot as opposed to the 10 foot canoe. We have to stitch multiple sheets together that we've cut out from the paper and then we have to mark them on the sheet. So what I'm doing is just, this is plank one. Uh, I believe we need four lengths of plank one and four lengths of plank two. So I'm just gonna cut these two lines and stick these together so that then we can stick it to the ply board and stencil it out. Okay, and this is how we cut. Oh no, I fucked that up. <laughs> you always fuck up the cutting. Always fuck up the cutting. Do you need me to do it? Um, yeah, well, quite possibly. Well, I just well, thought, you know, better at than being a woman. Oh, <laughs> we cannot bring any sexist comments. Oh my god, what is up with my masking tape? I mean, I am still filming. Did you want me to undo the masking tape for you? Rip that like a pro. Look at the concentration. Well, the last thing I'd want is for your side of the boat <laughs> to leak. <laughs> Why didn't you explain to the camera how confident you are in open water <clears throat> scenarios? Oh, I'm, I'm great with open water. Yeah. As long as I can touch the floor. <laughs> right, good. And how do, you, how do you feel about the idea of going canoeing with me? I ah. literally can't wait. <laughs> Given your reaction to the canoe sailing video I was watching on YouTube the other night. Given the reaction to your skinny dip, are you sure you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, enough of that. Right, how are we doing with the, with the plan? Plank one. Done. So as you can see from the book, the instructions tell you exactly how to lay out each panel. So this panel will contain two of plank two and two of plank one. We've actually had more success arranging the, the planks in a different formation to what they've had. So if you guys can see 
where this gets really tight up here, we've actually this top plank we've actually flipped it around so it starts over here and bends over the top of the other one, made it fit better. So if anyone else is having a go at this and they find the same thing, whatever, just something that we've discovered anyway. Okay, so we have successfully marked out. Oh, come on, come on in. What were my Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've successfully marked out all of the the two plank ones and the two plank twos on a single sheet of ply. Having never done this before, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these panels out and then possibly use them as stencils to go around on the next sheet or just really see how this sheet goes and then sort of work on the next sheet because the marine ply is the more expensive timber but once each of these have been done they all have to be sort of paired together and then sort of planed and sanded to be exactly the sort of same shape so that there's no discrepancies but we've only got these these planks here and the planks on the last sheet and then we're going to be ready for the assembly process so I'm looking forward to that that's when stuff gets really exciting yeah, yeah. Are you happy with what we've done today? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Get it cut out. Drill it. Cable tie it. Cable tie it. It does Easy. seem does seem a little bit disconcerting the fact that we're going to use two hundred cable ties to pin together something that's going to potentially sail us over. You know, something that could be. You know, if we go to like locks in Scotland, some of them are like a mile deep, like you. Know? I'm not yeah. touching the bottom there, am I? <laughs> we're just going to be paddling around in this tiny little flimsy ply built canoe. Yeah, about that. I mean, that bit there is a Trevor and a knife job. Oh. <laughs> I'll help build it. You don't fancy that. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, thank you guys very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure to uh, sort of share this with you, and hopefully sort of you're enjoying it and you'll enjoy the rest of the series. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back next time for some... Uh, <laughs> Which obviously is the international sign for the use of a jigsaw. <laughs> what? Wow. Peace out. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs>